Hey guys, it's Big Mike of BigMikeTrading.com. We've got a thread on the forum uh, called Ask Any Trading Question, and um, I probably answered two or three hundred questions uh, in the thread, but what I thought I would do is start posting some of these questions and my answers on YouTube. Uh, now, obviously, uh, this is going to just be my opinion, so uh, you know some people will agree with what I have to say, and some will disagree with what I have to say. But uh, hopefully, uh, you can learn something and uh, it'll improve your trading. So here's a question. And these questions come from uh, members of the forum. Uh, I've kept it anonymous for you know their sake. Uh, question, are there any legitimate trade rooms where a newbie like myself can learn to trade and make some money following a successful trader at the same time? Uh, I get this question a lot in one form or another, and I'll just read my answer that you see on the screen, and then I'm going to elaborate a bit more. Uh, my answer was, I'm sure that there is somewhere. I don't know of any personally, though, and would recommend that you read these two threads. And for the YouTube folks, I'll put those links down at the bottom of the video. Long story short, I believe that the overwhelming majority of these trading rooms are pure and complete junk. Harsh, I know. Uh, keep in mind, it is not fair to say that's the case for every single trading room. Um, I'm just making general assumptions. I'm sure that there are some vendors out there who go out of their way to truly try to help and educate traders. But, in my opinion, the majority of them are trading on SIM, um, or they lie about their trades and fills. Uh, they often remark on things like, is everyone in on this winner? Um, or, you know, has everybody hit their daily goal for the day? That kind of stuff. And um, there's always a reason for, for, you know, one reason or another that they didn't take a losing trade, it would seem. Uh, also keep in mind that if you rely on this as a crutch and you're trading, then you really aren't trading. You're simply listening to someone else trade and you're following or trying to copy them. Um so the rest of my answer was, I would certainly recommend that you try and develop your own plan and your own style. Uh, the best advice I can give in this area is to be one of the many traders that posts a daily journal on the forum. Um, you guys know I'm really big on the, on the journals. It helps get your thoughts in order. Uh, it helps you be accountable. There's a million benefits, so I hope you will do that. Uh, and then you'll see, um, you know, pretty much everyone agrees when you post a journal uh, it will improve your trading. So let me elaborate a bit more that's not written in this post. Um, I keep most of my answers relatively short because uh, there's a lot of typing involved when you're answering a lot of these at one time. Um, so first, you know, I should say that, that it's not fair to say that every single vendor is, is like what I've described in this post because I'm sure that there are some out there that are not like this. Now, uh, to be honest, I don't know of any um, but I'm not really looking, you know, so um, I can't say one way or the other. I can just assume that somewhere out there, there are vendors who really, truly uh, try to help people, you know, with their trading. Uh, and the first priority is not simply to, to put money in the vendor's pocket. And, and I want to elaborate on that and say that I think that it is completely reasonable for someone, a vendor, to charge money. Uh, for their time and for their services. So I don't have a problem with vendors charging money. The, the biggest problem I have with the trading rooms or the, the uh, everything that goes along usually with those types of services, you know, the mentorships, um, the how here, here's what I find. Their website usually consists of one or many pages showing things like, look how easy it is to make $500, or uh, look at the January results where we made 2,000 ticks, or look at all my trading results, here's a spreadsheet where I've documented all my trades. And you know, all that stuff is um, extremely misleading because what I have found both directly when I used to uh, look for trading rooms many, many years ago, um, and also primarily from the experiences that I see shared on the forum by other members who are constantly looking for new rooms for whatever reason, uh, what I see is that, first of all, the majority of these trading um, mentors, educators, vendors, whatever you want to call them, they're not trading cash, okay? And that's just like a, 
really huge thing. And they seem to have a lot of reasons that they don't trade cash, but I don't, I don't, partic- I don't really care um, for too many of the reasons because the fact is is that their audience, the people that are subscribing and paying money, I, I'm pretty sure that their goal is to trade cash um, and not, uh, you know, not just make a million dollars in monopoly money. And I think that most traders realize that it is extremely easy, or let's put it this way, it's not very hard to make a lot of money on SIM. Okay, I haven't met too many people that can't make money on SIM. Um, whereas when you transition to a live account, a cash account, you know everything drastically changes. So I don't think it's very fair for trading educators who are supposed to be teaching you how to trade for them to be trading on SIM. Um, this the second thing is I don't really like those kinds of result pages, you know, the 2000 ticks in January, or here's my spreadsheet, or here's a list of all the money that we made. I really, really dislike those things because I have seen and witnessed myself, again, many years ago, multiple trading room educators basically, and I know it's a really harsh word, but they're basically lying about those those things. They're, they're making up fills that wouldn't have otherwise happened um, they're counting winners that were, would be impossible in a, in a real live cash account to be in that trade. They disregard losing trades using the benefit of hindsight analysis. Um, it's just not a fair thing. So the, uh, the last thing I'll say to answer this gentleman's question is that I think that when you're a complete newbie, okay, when you don't know what a tick is, you don't know what a pip is, You don't know if you should be trading equities or futures or Forex. You don't know what instruments to trade. You don't know what the tick value is of those instruments. You don't know about margins. You don't know, you can't name more than two or three indicators off the top of your head. You don't know any kind of terminology. Um, And the list goes on. If you are a complete newbie and you don't know any of those things, well, first of all, uh, please go buy and read several books. There are lots of books. There's a thread on BMT that says highly recommended books by some really great educators um, that aren't trying to teach you a methodology, but they're just giving you basic principles or building blocks of those things that I just mentioned. Uh, second of all, if you want someone to be talking to you all day, you know, like a trading room would, uh, I think that there could be some benefit to listening to people, you know, talk the talk um, for, you know, maybe a month or so. So you can pick up on the lingo and the terminology. And then that that way you at least have enough of a trading vocabulary um, to be able to go onto a forum like BMT or elsewhere on the net and then continue your own education uh, in the direction that you want to go. Um, so I would, I would highly recommend that. Uh, So I hope that this has been helpful to you guys, and uh, be sure and subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing a bunch more of these uh, Q&As. Thanks.